Hey guys, I'm Billy. I'm a designer and today I'm going to show you how to make an endless pattern just like these. It would take way too long to show you how I did them all, so I'm just going to show you the process of making this Libra one. And of course this process can be applied to any type of pattern you'd like to make. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, you're gonna to wanna to start with a square canvas and have the background color what you want ready to start. I'm gonna use my best friend here, the symmetry tool and draw out this scale shape for the Libra using the boho line brush, which I will link in the description. Obviously I'm showing you my astrology series here, but you can use whatever you like. It is useful to go on Pinterest to find some inspiration. I've got a design board, which I use all the time and update all the time. I'll put that in the description too, to give you some design inspiration ideas. And once the block design is done, I'm going to make a new layer, turn on clipping mask and just add some details in with a few different colors. For this, it is really useful to use stamps and play around with the liquify to play around with it. In making these endless patterns, the best way to think about it is as if you're designing a tile. So when you put that alongside the other tiles, it matches perfectly together. I added some stamps to the design and then another layer at the top with the clipping mask off and added some dots to the back. Made sure to merge all these layers together and then you want to make sure that your shape is right in the middle by using the snap tool which should show up with these blue and orange lines. Make it smaller like I've done here if you need as it is super important to make sure that you're not touching the edges at this point otherwise the endless pattern just won't work. Now what you want to do is export that into a PNG or a JPEG then add it back into your canvas. It should look the same as you've already got beneath. Then go into your layers and duplicate the image that you've just imported in, so you should have two of the same image. Move one up so it takes up exactly half of your canvas horizontally. Then do the same with the other but move it down. So make sure that they are snapped exactly half where these two little points are, otherwise your pattern won't work. You want to make sure that everything is snapped so that it is exactly right for it to work endlessly. So at this point, it should look like this, a big gap in the middle and half of your pattern on top, half of it on the bottom. Now what you wanna do is to go into the middle and draw some things to fill up that space. I went for some flowers in the same color scheme. And again, keep away from the edges. You'll see why in just a minute. Save this again as a PNG or JPEG and do what you did last time. So add this in as a new image and then duplicate it. So there's two of them that are the same. This time add them left and right. So make sure that you're snapping them right in the middle of these two points this time. Again, this should leave you with a big gap in the middle. For mine, I'm just gonna write the word Libra and place it centrally. Then I just added these two little stamps and little pots. I added some white dots just to fill out this tile entirely. So now the square is entirely filled with design. So I'm gonna export that as a JPEG or a PNG, and then you can add it to a different size canvas to see the pattern. I've gone for 1920 by 1080 here to show you how it would look on a phone screen. So add in your square tile pattern and for this size canvas, I'm just gonna snap it to half the size of the canvas vertically like this. Then I'll duplicate that and add it to the other side. So it's filling up the space horizontally. Now I can merge these two squares together, duplicate the layer and put the second layer underneath the first. Merge those two together again and repeat the process. And there we are, this is what it looks like. That's how to make an endless pattern on Procreate. It might seem a little bit confusing, but once you've done it once or twice, it's actually a really easy thing to remember how to do. I hope you found this useful, and if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see me do, please do leave a comment to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe, it's all very much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.